quarantine day number 18 here's Paul's journal what the can I build out of this stuff well done plenty of op amp stuff how about a little audio amplifier to dingus, huh? Let's see. Will she focus? Yeah. From ST Electronics, a TDA 2030. Five pin. That's called the pentawatt package. Ta -da. It's like I planned this or something. So, we got the TDA 2030, which is an 18 watt hi fi amplifier with a 35 watt driver. You're going to want a heat sink if you're planning on pressing it that hard, but I don't really think it'll put out that much. 16 volt 4 ohm output. Very nice, very nice. High output current, low harmonic crossover distortion, short circuit, thermal. Very nice, very nice. There is a typical application. That's using a dual voltage supply. We like to keep things simple here. You know the old saying, kiss, keep it simple, stupid. That goes along with the seven P's of proper previous planning prevent piss poor performance. So here is, look at our pins. We've got non-inverting input, inverting input, minus VS plus VS and output. Pretty simple. Put power in, put signal in get more signal out right there's a test circuit there's some technical huda there's some more technical huda but here's where we're talking about this is a single supply you see we're taking the negative vs and just putting it to ground so we have our non-inverting input there this is where we're feeding our signal got the, the coupling capacitor there there's our non there's our inverting it's got some feedback a couple power rail capacitors for filtering a little diode job there we can build this we can build this on a really small little circuit board and you can enclose this into just about any kind of device you are building. So I will uh, draw up this circuit and order some boards because PCB Way tells me they are back in business and ready to roll. So let's get some boards made up and we will uh, put the circuit together cool now in this case it's taken almost two weeks to get the boards and I think that has more to do with uh, customs and everything here in the US being very careful about what we let in as opposed to anything PCB way does so there are our boards really simple really small oh come on fingers double-sided ground plane All right I will put one of these together but first a message from our sponsor this video is sponsored by PCB way and yes they are up and running if you need boards you can get them quick it takes about a week costs about 20 bucks all you gotta come down here and do is put in your dimensions, put in how many layers, how many pieces, pick your uh, uh, thickness. You can even get a nice purple solder mask. Come down through here, fill everything out, click calculate, bada bing, bada boom. Now, these are a little bit more expensive because of what I picked but you can see you can get your instant quote 
and get your boards super fast. There she is in all her beauty. I had to fudge a couple capacitor values to get everything on the board. Not look bad. So, let's see how it works. Got here a uh, little generator. And it's going to put out a one kilohertz square wave. Hook it up here. I'm gonna keep losing my ground connection. I've got got them dueled up here. <laughs> it's in there. Okay. So there we go. There is our square wave at five volts per division. You can see we're getting about two and a half volts. And let's add a measurement. Let's add channel one frequency. Add. There we go. And hopefully. You can see our measurements here is our frequency, about a kilohertz. And our square wave, nice 50% square wave. So what we'll do is we'll hook this output to our input. Here. Then we will attach some power here and then we can attach our output there and we'll hook the scope leads up to our output wire Why have I lost my signal? No, oh, okay, there we go. And then we'll be, we need to power our amplifier board, and I have another power supply there for that. So in this case, yellow is our ground. And that's getting a good 15 volts there. Nope, oh, there we everything. And don't know why they're not sinking. But if we stop. There you go. And you can see we are at uh, 5 volts on channel 1, which is our input, that's the red, and 10 volts on channel 2, which is our output. So we're getting 
some considerable amplification there. Very nice. Works out well. So there it is, pretty simple. Well, we got six, 12, 13, 14, 15 components. And like I said, this is small enough that you could put it just about anywhere. You definitely want to put a heat sink on that. That's about it. A little quarantine project to keep us busy while we're all stuck inside. So, big thanks to PCB Way. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Peace.